Welcome to r slash credit by Haunted TTS. Subscribe and like this video for more, and don't forget to click that bell button for notifications. What's the scariest or strangest thing you've seen in a national park or national forest? Once I was driving into Yosemite at 4 am, saw something in the road as I came around a corner and slammed on my brakes. It turned out to be a wolf. Several years later, I mentioned this to someone offhand, and they said Yosemite didn't have any wolves. I looked it up, and they have exactly one wolf in the park. I realized I nearly plowed through Yosemite's one single wolf. I am very glad I managed not to. Saw a toad that looked like it weighed 10 pounds. Illogically huge. It stayed still and just looked at me. I just carefully went on my way in silence. Over the night I could hear it off in the distance from my tent. If anyone wants a good, spooky podcast, there is one called Park Predators, and it is about the countless bodies, murders and serial killers in state and national parks. The Yosemite serial killer is what got me into true crime, I live in the area. I was chilling in a hammock, and my family started yelling at me to run away. Turns out, there was a bear right near me. I slowly walked away and the bear ate some berries by the hammock. The pair of female cops fishing a pond with a grappling hook on a line trying to drag in an arm that was sticking out of the murk. Scariest was a group of tourists, I'm guessing, at the Ho Rainforest in the Olympic National Park, who thought it was a good idea to take pictures posing with huge elk. Some people were even making their kids go over and pose with these wild animals. I'm pretty sure it was during the elk mating season too. We and other people shouted at them to not get close to the elk, but they didn't listen us. Luckily nothing happened. It not necessarily happened to me but happened to my mom when she was pregnant with me. She was out jogging in some forest in Alaska, she would do this daily. After some time she notices some people frantically trying to get her attention, she had headphones in so she could not hear them, so she stopped and asked them what was up. They told her that they had been trying to get her attention for a while, because a big grizzly bear had been chasing after her as she was jogging, but eventually, and very thankfully for me, stopped chasing her for whatever reason. The buddy and I were on a camping trip in the Powder Canyon outside Fort Collins, Co. It was late in the season, so all of the campgrounds were closed. We found a random spot off of a random road. Both of us have a ton of experience and had camped all over Co and Utah, but something about this particular spot was just off. Almost immediately, we found a blanket wrapped around a deceased skeletal animal. We assumed it was just a pet that someone had thrown out, but it set the mood. We went hiking, climbed up a few hills, and came across an abandoned tent wrapped up in a tree. I was certain we were going to find a body in it, but it was just filled with notebooks and a sleeping bag. We start hiking down the hill and end up walking down the side, very steep. As we are traversing down, we are hit with the smell of death. Nestled into a tree, on the side of a very steep hill, is a small towel with something clearly inside of it. We leave it be and hike down. This is probably 200 to 300 feet up the side of steep hill with the towel in a tree, facing the top of the hill. Clearly intentionally put here. We down some bourbon, build up some courage, and hike back up. Grab a stick, open up the towel. Inside a very recently deceased owl. Somehow, someway, someone had killed this owl, wrapped it in a towel, hiked up a steep hill off a random mountain road, and stuck it beside a tree. We started a fire, slammed the bourbon, and got out of there in the morning. My uncle's a trucker. He was once going up the mountains in South Queensland and had to stop on the side of the road to take a leak. This was around 11 pm at night. It was quiet, except for the occasional other car passing. Oh, and the giant thumping noise coming from the trees. Emus don't go up that high, and if it was a kangaroo, it would have run off before being heard, same as a wallaby. Cassowaries don't go that far south, so it was either a very fat mountain goat or our version of Bigfoot. These are my uncle's words, not mine. The bear sniffing around trying get into our tent. There was no food inside but us. Honestly it's the people that worry me. Raccoons. They get up to all kinds of SHT in the middle of the night. It's not quite so adorable when they're trying to break into your car and steal your bacon. Heard and saw a sequoia tree fall a few feet away from me when I was hiking a few years ago. It sounded like thunder and the whole ground shook when it fell. Was camping and there was a stream with a concrete bridge spillway me being the fish and wildlife nerd I am went into the creek to catch darters and crawfish. I was walking back felt something brush my leg, look down and see an almost 4 feet copperhead carrying a 3 feet decapitated water snake with it. I was camping in the Amazon forest here in Brazil, and I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to pee really bad. I walked a little bit far away from the camp so I wouldn't wake anyone up and lowered my pants and started peeing, I am a girl, so I kind of sat down, but without touching the ground for obvious reasons. 
it was only the moonlight and everything was really dark, and I was really nervous when I felt and heard something walking behind me, very close. I don't know what that was but it felt really big, and I was already thinking that I would die right there half naked, and no one would even know what happened. Anyway, I finished as soon as I could and ran back to the tent shaking. I still wonder about what kind of animal, or person, was that but as I was in the middle of the Amazon, it could actually be anything. I saw a large, deep, rectangular pit in the middle of a national forest. It looked like someone was about to be buried. I carefully walked away as quietly as I could, afraid I'd fall into a different pit with a body in it. The mind can play some mean tricks on a person. Two park rangers emerged from the bushes while a friend and I were smoking a bowl in Acadia National Park. What would have been a slap on the wrist became a felony charge because it was on federal property. Luckily we were teenagers so it was expunged from our records after a few years. I desperately still wish that I had the letter that arrived at my parents' house with the header, the United States of America versus my name. Went camping with a friend, both about 9 or 10, and we decided to explore the woods at night. We were about 5 minutes away from the campsite. The stars were stunning, and it was wild that you could hear and, kind of, see some wildlife. We were walking back and I turned around. I could hear something trailing behind us. I asked her to flash her light and there was this thing in the distance. We could only see the outline of it, but my gut was telling me to run. We took off running and I could hear the thing barreling after us. We were close to the campsite so whatever it was stopped following us the moment we made it onto the site. We assumed it was a monster or a beast. Now, I clearly remember the shape of the thing. It was a person. Hub Scouts, after staying late telling ghost stories, me and a friend snuck out to wander around at night. Armed with nothing but a flashlight. We were walking along a paved path when we hear clicking footsteps just behind us. I shine the light behind us and only see glowing eyes and a silhouette of antlers. My friend takes off screaming. I back off slowly after him. It was a bloody deer. I was driving home from Yosemite four years ago, and I stopped on the side of the road to go pee, I then heard birds in the distance completely stop chirping. It was around 5 pm BTW, I knew that a bear was nearby, so I cut it short and started to walk back to my car which was like 30 feet away, just as I turned around to walk back, I heard an insanely loud sound that was like a mix between a scream and an air raid siren, it sounded really close, and I knew for a fact that it wasn't a bear or cougar anymore, and I've never heard something so strange and loud, so I ran as fast as I can back to my truck and started it. Right before I drove off I heard it again, but it was even louder, and it sounded even more creepy, I still think about it until this day, and I still don't know what kind of creature it could have been. Can someone please convince me that what I heard was normal or if it was some kind of cryptid? Please help I am terrified to go in the woods. This wasn't in a national park, but a local forest preserve. Used to bike a lot when I was 12 13 and stumbled across one baby doll hanging from a twine noose. I backpedaled onto the actual trail and got out of there fast. The Uup I saw hovering over arches a couple weeks ago. Pitch black outside near delicate arch watching planes and stars and the occasional satellite pass overhead. Then one of the points of light that I thought was a star started jumping around. Would zip left then down. Then stop. Then start again. We watched it for over 10 minutes. Have no idea what it could have been. Not a park but in the upper peninsula of Michigan coming back through some woods at 2 a.m., had what looked like a little gorilla run from heavy brush across the road in front of my car. Doing some backcountry skiing, went back up my old track for a second loop. Big as cougar prints, just following my old track back and forth, stalking me. Like not fist-sized, nearly spread hand-sized. Never did see it. Broke down at the top of a ridgeline. Walked 10 miles back to camp, slowly, with a bad limp from a sprained knee. Black bear followed me at about 50 years away the whole time. Less scary, but I was injured suo. I found some weird SHT too. Like Wiccan circles and such. Once with a central cage and some animal remains in it. I was going for a hike in the national park near my town, Piatra Kryului, Romania, next to Brand Dracula's castle, and I was wearing my head. It was 6 a.m. and the 28th of December, I think 2017. I walked on the trail for a bit when I heard a sneeze. I was like WTF and pulled out my headphones, it continued to walk. A few seconds later, I heard it again, just now it was closer. I realized that was no sneeze, it was freaking wolves. I ran down the mountainside, knife in one hand, stick another until I got to the road, about 5 min. Last time I went by myself on the mountain in winter. I was at a national park in Pennsylvania and the ranger told us that back in the 1800s, like 10,000 people died went missing there, all in just a few days. Scariest thing. A chipmink. Hiking a narrow trail cut into the side of a ridge in Ventana National Forest, California. 
in the middle of the trail, was a mangy chipmunk with only about half its fur still attached running around in circles. No way to get past. I threw rock at it to try and scare it into running off the trail, and the bloody thing ran straight at me. Nearly had a heart attack as it ran past and kept going down the trail. Area known for rabies and bubonic plague. Was in Algonquin Park and packing up my stuff into my car after a seven-day canoe trip, all of a sudden I hear excited chatter two cars over and this giant bull moose saunters through the parking lot. I hide behind my car and take pictures video of course, but some Asian tourists tried to get right up to it and petted. Thankfully it wasn't mating season and before the tourist could touch it, the bull looked at the tourist, gave a snort and took off into the forest. The tourist chased after him trying to get a selfie, but thankfully the moose is much faster than the tourist. I still can't believe that someone would go up to a fully grown bull moose and try to pet it, I was fully expecting to see an actual Darwin Award Earl. Also the most beautiful thing, a herd of buffalo, hundreds of them, all nearly the size of cars. I was in Yellowstone, it took two hours for them to cross the road and for traffic to continue through the park. One brushed up against my car and the whole car shifted. It was crazy. My dad and I set up a game cam this summer out in a valley where there's frequently elk. He had a hunt coming up and wanted to get a look at the area. We left it out there for about two weeks and came back to grab it. Most recent picture on the camera when we pulled it was from about three hours before we got there, and it was of a mountain lion standing right where we were as we were looking through the pictures. It was a rather tense hike back across the valley back to our jeep. At Arches there was a girl so terrified at Delicate Arch she was screaming and not getting out of anyone's way. And her boyfriend was three feet away from her saying you're okay while swiping in his phone. While working at a corn farm in the middle of a national park in Ohio, I was driving a gator around one of our biggest fields to pick up raccoon traps. At the back of the field I turned around a corner and saw a swollen deer carcass under a tree. While the bloated deer was somewhat of a disturbing sight in and of itself, it took me a few seconds to realize that perched in the branches above were around 100 turkey vultures sitting in silence, staring directly at me. I put the gator in reverse and noped out of there. One day my friend and I decided to go camp at Sequoia National Park for the weekend. I like to leave pretty late so I can get to the park to set up camp, see the stars, and wake up to hit the trails and sights before everyone gets there. We're driving there in the middle of the night, and once we get to the main road I notice a weird sort of glinting off the light from my headlights. I get closer and I start to see a full-on cow in the middle of the road all the way up in the national park by the mountains. I was so shocked because there was no obvious farms nearby and the mountains were heavily sloped. Not national, but a nearby county forest. Went hiking on the trails with my family about a month and a half ago. The next week, we saw that a body had been discovered next to the same trail. The body was of a United executive who had been missing for over a year. We walked right past his corpse but didn't notice. Bison in Yellowstone using his head to destroy a tree. It was next to the road. I decided to leave. I was working with a grad student out in the Jornada del Muerto one summer, in college. Just vast desert and dirt roads, bison and prairie dogs. One day we got caught in a torrential downpour while out in the field. We rushed back to camp in a hurry before the roads became impassable. As we drove through the rain we passed by a huge yucca bush, completely engulfed in bright orange flames, burning so fiercely that the pouring rain did nothing at all to douse the flames. We didn't stop to ponder what we were seeing, but it freaked me out slightly, it was so uncanny. I guessed that the bush had been struck by lightning, but it still seemed bizarre and symbolic in some way. Yellowstone. Riding a bicycle, fast, down a great curve. Cars are stopped. To look at a grizzly. Could have hit the cars. Could have hit the bear. I didn't saw it, and that's the scary part, but jaguars. I only seen their tracks, those animals are stealth as ninjas but deadlier. My two buddies and I encountered a black bear in Olympic National Park that confirmed that black bears could not be outrun. We were on the west side of the park on the start of a week-long backpacking trip, driving to a campsite. From the side of the forest road, a black bear busted through the bushes and onto the road in front of me. I was cruising along at 25 to 30 miles per hour, and the bear swerved away from my car and turned up the road. He proceeded to accelerate away from my car in the time I took to realize what was happening. Breathtaking. Easily 300 pounds of black bear running at better than 30 miles per hour, like a thoroughbred horse with claws and teeth. As he put a distance between himself and my car, he looked over his shoulder, as if to make his point, and bounded back into the brush beside the road. Humans and cannot outrun a bear.